Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty. And in this episode, something a little different. We will check out number one Ohio State versus number 20 Wisconsin as 3 0 takes on 3 0. But this isn't any other Wisconsin team. This is one led by former White Tail quarterback. Bryant Simmons now his first game he actually only threw three passes and got hurt so this is actually his return from injury as he faces the number one team in the nation Aaron Bell a freshman quarterback is the quarterback for Ohio State now he will be there for the next four years more than likely he is a dual threat and he's 84 overall I expect him to be a big weapon for this Ohio State team going forward. Gavin Alford is their best receiver at 95 overall. He's going to be an NFL draftee, but they do have another great linebacker with Demarcus Rogers. He's 98 overall, 6 foot 5, 247, 99 block shedding, 96 tackling and 99 hit power. This guy is incredible. So let's get this game underway. And Ohio State does start out on the road, but with the ball. Here's a handoff, Daniel Williams. He gets the first carry, gain of seven. Now, Daniel Williams was a good running back last year, and he is coming off in a thousand yard season. Here he is with another carry. He gets 11 yards and the first down. Now, we did do a good job, the Whitetails, that is, stopping him running the ball. But this year, they have two guys who can run the ball. Aaron Bell, Brent Thompson was their quarterback last year, but he didn't run the ball as much versus us. But I do expect Aaron Bell because, you know, how CPU quarterbacks work is if they're not that good of throwers right away, they'll just tend to run a lot more. And I expect Aaron Bell to scramble a lot when we eventually do play him. So here is Bell from the shotgun this time. Throw out to left side. He's got it to his man on a third and nine, but it's not going to make it to the 40-yard line. It looks like that's too far out of field goal range, but they're going to kick this anyway, and it is going to be well short. So now Wisconsin comes back out onto the field, led by Brian Simmons, and he's going to pitch it out to his little brother, Brian Simmons, the red shirt freshman. He picks up a gain of one yard. So here is Bryant from the shotgun. He's going to throw across the middle. He's got a, his first first down of the game for Joseph Holloway, and that is a gain of 11. So the former Whitetail drops back under center, drop off pass, and that is going to be caught once again, but this time by Carl Hopkins, probably their best receiver on the team. He gets a first down on that catch. Quick throw across the middle. There is Holloway again, nine yards. And Wisconsin looks different. They are led by a first-year head coach who we will find out later who that is and when we play him. But Brian Simmons looks good. And you can see the offense is now in shotgun a lot more. Wisconsin is known for beating that power eye, running that power run type of offense. And look at Brian Simmons coming out in the shotgun. This time he hands off to his little brother, Brian, and he will get in for the first touchdown of the game and the freshman makes it seven nothing let's just take a closer look at brian simmons he is 84 overall 92 speed 92 agility he's pretty good 87 break tackling he's gonna have a bright career here at wisconsin so here comes bell back on an offense this time he's gonna throw across the middle he's got mark johnson the true freshman for a first down as Ohio State has had a bunch of good freshman recruits this season. But here's a throw to the right side, and it's picked off. And Bell makes his, his first mistake, the freshman. And I don't know what he was looking at on that one. That was clear coverage. Number 21 was reading that the whole way. And it's an interception. And now Bryant Simmons has an opportunity to take the two-score lead. So here he is, throwing out to the right side. He looks good throwing the ball. That's to his brother, Brian. And it is a first down. So now at about the 40-yard line, this time, Bryant Simmons throws to the left side, and it's going to be caught. And that is going to be a first down by Carl Hopkins, who I mentioned is their best receiver. That is a gain of 12 yards. So from the shotgun this time, he's going to throw the screen pass out to Bryant, and that's going to be a loss of five yards. 
That play didn't work. Edwards is there. And they do end up kicking the long field goal on a fourth down, and that is going to be good. So they do have the 10-point lead here at home. So now here comes Bell back out onto the field as this first quarter winds down. Here's a handoff this time. That is Daniel Williams, the senior. He picks up five yards on that carry. So here is Williams once again, another handoff and another big hole. He will fight forward for about 11 yards. Another first down here for Ohio State. So they do switch sides of the fields as they start the second quarter. This time Williams throws a stiff arm. He gets to about the 10 yard line on that run and Brutus is loving it. And it's a first down as they get inside the 10 yard line. So now third and six this time. Bell, he does make the smart decision on that one, not throwing it into coverage. He throws it away and Ohio State settles for three points. So here comes Bryant Simmons. Two scoring drives for him to start this game. Handoff to his brother, and he's going to get stopped behind the line. And it's going to be a loss of one, but take a look. Bryant Simmons is shaken up. So in comes Ryan Hill at running back, who led their team last year in rushing. And he did lose his spot to Simmons as he gets the first pass when he comes in. Loss of four on the screen. So now third and 15, this time Brian Simmons unloads, goes over the middle, he's got a man, that's going to be Hopkins. That is a touchdown, that's Daryl Robinson. No, I was mistaken, 69 yards. And look at Brian Simmons, 12 for 12 to start this game. That was a huge third down toss. What kind of defense was Ohio State playing? So now back on an offense, this time they're going to hand the ball off to Daniel Williams. He's their best weapon right now in offense. No more Brent Thompson at quarterback, so you got to rely on the running game. So now they get it to the 35-yard line, third and six. This time, throw across the middle. It's going to be a first down. Terrence Nicholson, and he moves the chains. So three minutes left here in the first half. Bell, he's going to run the option, pitch out to his receiver that time, and it's not going to be a gain of anything, really. Maybe a gain of one, maybe two. And that gets it to a third and nine. Here's a screen pass. Daniel Williams can't escape. And that is going to be a tackle behind the line. And that's a loss of three as they settle for another field goal. So Ohio State has not been able to get on the board yet as far as the end zone goes. But Brian Simmons looking good throwing the ball. He throws out to the right side. He finds Holloway for another catch. So first and 10 this time, Brian Simmons, clean pocket, throws to the right side, and it is Ryan Hill who gets open. That was great protection up front, and we always know Wisconsin is going to have a good offensive line. It looks like it's helping in the first half. So here is Simmons this time, throw on the run, it's going to be picked off. He makes his first mistake of the game, and that is going to be picked off, and now Ohio State takes back over close to the 50-yard line, but take a look, no. It's coming back. Pass interference on David Francis. So Brian Simmons lucks out. That could have been an interception here, but now he comes back out onto the field. Screen pass. Nobody is out to guard Ryan Hill. Wow, that is a killer. Ohio State, the flag kills that interception in that field position. And now you put your redshirt freshman quarterback in a terrible position here with a minute left in the first half. First pass, unloads deep, and he's got a man down the sideline. That is going to be Alford for the touchdown, 75 yards. So I guess this freshman is showing he can do something. He gets a, a long pass, his, maybe his longest of the season of his career, and that is a touchdown. And now that brings it to within 11 points. So now Brian Simmons has an opportunity, though. They give him enough time. Remember, the clock stops on first downs. He's going to unload, and there's a wide open man. That is another touchdown pass. Three in the first half for Brian Simmons, Carl Hopkins this time, and wow, Wisconsin is laying it on Ohio State. Number one undefeated, 3-0, 3-0. It's halftime, and Wisconsin's up big. So here we go to start the second half. Did you guys see this coming? Number one, Ohio State versus number 20, Wisconsin. And look at Wisconsin starting it off. And that's Ryan Hill. He is a trusted running back. He is a senior. He's a leader. And once again, he's showing 
that he can still play. Even when he was benched, he still got it. So now they get it to a third and three at about the 33-yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. Brian Simmons converts once again. Man, he looks good as a Badger. I think this is what they probably needed. They needed a guy that can also run and can also pass. We all seen what Brian Simmons can do. Remember, he had that five-touchdown game for us last season, actually two seasons ago when he was filling in for Adam Miller. He had a huge game, and look at him here, 34 to 13 Wisconsin so here is Bell this time he's gonna hand off to Daniel Williams he is doing really really well in this one he picks up a gain of seven and that's almost 100 yards on the day this carry will put him over 100 with a gain of nine not that time and now they get it to a second and one at about the 37 another handoff why not just keep giving it back to him it's working so there it is gain of 13 it's a first down for Ohio State so from the shotgun this time Bell the freshman throws out to the right side wide open Alford he breaks a tackle and that's gonna be about a, only a gain of one and that was a third down so Ohio State does not go for it and they actually settle for three so now it's 16 to 34 so here's Brian Simmons back on an offense but he's gonna be swallowed up by Ohio State on that play and that brings it to a third and 12. He's converted a lot of these third downs. Here's a deep shot, wide open down the right side, and that is gonna be deflected by 48 that time. And now Ohio State has an opportunity to maybe make this a 10 point game with a touchdown. So here is Bell, this time running the option, and that's not gonna work. Wisconsin's defense is pretty good this year. I think it's one of the most unsung things about this team. You know they can run the ball. You know their offensive line is going to protect well. But their defense is special this year, and you can tell in this game. So now Bell gets it to a third and inches. This time, read option. Keeper, he will break a tackle. Get up field, and he gets about a gain of 12 and a first down as we move on to the fourth quarter. So now inside the 30-yard line on the opposite side of the field. Here is Bell breaking a tackle, breaking another one, but he can't get away. That's going to be a sack. And now he's going to have to get a third down conversion on this one. Third and 11 from the 30-yard line. Throw to the left side, and that is going to be a dive of a throw to Danny Jones. Gain of 14 and a first down. So at the 15-yard line, wide open over to the left side and he's gonna find his tight end Terrence Nicholson who uses his body gets forward and now they're inside the five yard line so here is Bell this time he's gonna unload throw to the corner of the end zone he's got Carlton Coleman and that's a two yard touchdown and they will line up to go for two points to bring it to ten points and here comes Bell in the pistol this time he Rolls out to left. He gets hit, and that is going to be incomplete. He tried to get rid of it, and now it is still a 12-point game, so a touchdown and a field goal will not do it in this game. So here is Bryant Simmons back out onto the field. The offense has slowed down here in the second half as Ohio State has crept back slowly here in the second half. But here's a throw out to the right side on the third and seven. That's Carl Hopkins going up and getting it. It is a 21-yard gain, and that one puts them over 100 yards as now they are set up to about the 43-yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. That is going to be another catch that time, and it's going to be Hopkins, 29 yards, and now they are into field goal range. You got to think they're going to run the ball, but no, they're going to pass some more. Here's another throw to the left side, and it's an open man. It's Holloway for a gain of seven yards. So here's Brian Simmons, this time handoff to Hill. Now they're going to run the ball, and that's a first down. This offensive line is just wearing down this defensive front. Another first down. So first and ten, this time Hill up the middle, inside the five for a gain of nine. So now that brings it to the two. Brian Simmons, hands off Hill. He beats the guy to the pylon, and that's going to be a touchdown. Two yards out, and that one just seems like it's going to put this game out of reach. And here is Ohio State with one last effort. Can they get into the end zone? Here is Bell, the redshirt freshman, throws to the end zone, and it's picked off. So Wisconsin completes the upset at home, and this will change some things 
in the Big Ten, Wisconsin. Are they the new powerhouse with Brian Simmons at quarterback? He Remember, he started off the game 15 for 15 throwing the ball. He looks dangerous with the Badgers because you know they have the strong running game now. He can also run a little bit, and they get the win. So I wonder how much they will jump up in the polls after this upset on number one Ohio State. So, wow, what a big win for Wisconsin as Ohio State Pretty much went undefeated in conference last year as they lost to Rutgers. That was their only loss. And then they obviously lost to us in the conference championship. But it looks like Wisconsin could be the team to beat this year as Brian Simmons in this offense looked good as Carl Hopkins went over 100 yards receiving and really just shutting down this offense. I mean, if you take away Daniel Williams, I mean, I think there's a chance that anybody can beat Ohio State the way they look this game. And on defense, Wisconsin is no slouch. I mean, just look at them. Everybody was getting after the ball, and their best player, Joey Miner, didn't even have a sack in this one. Only had one tackles for loss, so that just shows how good they are. So next episode will be your favorite episode of the year, the recruiting special. One of the most fun episodes. One of the most fun episodes to make. And this year we have some five stars interested in the first one is the number one recruit in the nation who was a custom recruit. It's AJ Howry. Now, he has a few schools going after him. I'm not so sure we have a chance. We are in third place. And if you're really this in third place when it's this far into the season, maybe around week four, week three, and the guy's at least 75% locked, there's a chance that you're probably not close. But we will get to see the rest of the interested guys and look at Wisconsin. Chris Bush, the top athlete there, another five-star. They will be getting another five-star recruit, it looks like, in him. And this is going to be fun. So next episode, we will have the recruiting special here in Season 6, so you don't want to miss that one. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy, though. Only problem with that is they not me, though. People act cool, but really they be shifty, though. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me, though. I be low-key, but police be trying to find